Welcome back to Alma, Missouri, everybody. On the previous episode, we went ahead and cut this alfalfa, and we dried it. So it is ready to bale. We're going to tackle that. I'm not exactly sure if we should sell this or use it for the cattle, or we haven't started up the... Well, we got cattle in there, but we haven't officially started feeding them yet to get that operation going. We did, however, feed the chickens, and it looks like they're doing well. Let's pop on over there. What I think I'm going to do is get a... We're going to need a uh, forklift of some sort. But I think what we're going to do is get the forks for our our John Deere tractor. And then we can use that. And then we don't have to have a dedicated bobcat or skid steer or anything. Although we're probably going to need... Well, we should be able to get a tractor in that shed to feed the cows too. It's not that big of a tractor. But let's go ahead and get tackling that, hey, uh, what was the power requirements on that unit? I can't remember. 350 horse. Ooh, that was a lot, wasn't it? So we're going to need our... Did we use... Yeah, we were underpowered, weren't we? When we ran it. Maybe it was the configuration. There we go. Yeah, we'll just use this. It should work. Because we used, used it before, obviously. We're going to have to get expanding a little bit faster, get some bigger equipment. I'll probably... Hmm, hmm, let's see. We're probably going to sell that John Deere tractor here on the left. The 4755. And then some other thing. Probably that small tractor, too. We should get rid of that one. Get a bigger tractor. But like I said, I really want to get the... Cotton equipment bought. We're going to get that going right away because that was one of my goals for this playthrough. To get a cotton operation going at full speed. Because I haven't done that much. The biggest problem with doing something like cotton, it just takes so long to get enough money if you start, you know, with what you start with. Thankfully, we started with $2 million on this playthrough, so we do get some cushion. And then we can get there quickly. Because Farm Sim 25 will be coming out sooner rather than later. We also decided to go with this baler. It is a mod, but this way we don't have to worry about raking. We can get everything kind of like all in one. We had that merger. We used it once. It was a cool tool. The Oxbow merger. But this will save us time and we can also expand the rakes on it and go a little bit wider, which we will do. But we're going to need even more horsepower. We'll definitely look at getting a big tractor, but I want to get that equipment for the cotton all ready to go. We'll probably definitely put that in the field we just harvested. I don't know what we're going to do with the corn field. That's actually going to be probably ready to harvest in this episode. We could get started on that and get that going on a worker or whatnot. We do got to get some lime also for that field on our left here. I'm sure the corn probably is going to need it too after we harvest that. Yeah, so let's get our first bales popped out here. I've never seen an alfalfa bale, so I'm not exactly sure how this works. Yeah, so it is alfalfa. Hey, 8,000 liters. And that will sell in January too. Again, I'm not exactly sure if we should hold on to it for the cattle, but we're obviously going to get a lot of hay if we need it, because this girl's pretty quickly could probably get three harvests in every year if we need to. All right, I'm going to crack on here, and then we'll see you in a few minutes.
Looks like my stacking job wasn't the best here. It's kind of... We got to make sure I drive straight when I try to do this, but live and learn. I'm always backing up and then I'm cockeyed. We got to be able to pull out straight. And let's give this a shot. It should work better then. Yeah, a lot better. We'll do that for next time. How many bales were in here? I think what I'm going to do, though, with the cattle, I've been thinking about it. I think we're going to sell what we have. And obviously I want to get, like, the transportation uh, trailer for them and all that good stuff. What are these? Are these regular hay bales back here? Hey, yeah, there's a, these are just regular hays. But I'm thinking alfalfa would still work. Let's just check real quick. Maybe I should grab a bale and see what happens if it'll accept it as hay or an alfalfa bale and we'll see if it accepts it as because I'm not even sure maybe it has to be hay. Um, these are milking cows but I kind of want to do beef cows is what I'm thinking and then we could just sell them instead of dealing with the milk. We we did milk on a previous playthrough. It'd be kind of nice to, to sell the Let's see, we gotta get on the back side here. To sell the cattle for money and be kind of interesting to raise them that way. Because I don't think many people do that. Uh, we're gonna buy the forks for the front of this tractor so we got something to not only haul our eggs with, but we can do bales. Probably just get the uh, pallet forks. They'll work for both. And I was almost thinking too to get that Lime thrower. We can fill that up and bring that back as well. So we can get that taken care of. So let's go to combinations on this guy. Yeah, and we got the front here. 15 grand for that. We'll make it happen. And then we want the... Let's see. Let me go back here a second. Make sure we get the right forks, but I think they all work under the front loader. Just checking to see if there's anything better. I don't remember having this mod, but we'll just get this guy. And then we want a good lime thrower so we're not constantly going back and forth. That's one of the downfalls with the base game lime throwers is that they're really not that wide of a spread. I guess it would be under fertilizer spreaders. Yeah, because these smaller ones are only looking at 18. And that one's fertilizer only on that guy. But if we do what we did in the previous playthrough and get this Kubota one. Oh, that is interesting. I've seen this before. These extra mods came through. Oh, it might have been for that other map that I, I've been playing on the side. That would explain it. Yeah, so we kind of have to go with... Because that one only does fertilizer. we got to go with the Kubota one again. Yeah, that's fine. Let's just leave it on Kubota then. Let's do the old school. 26,000 for that. And then that holds... Oh, wait a minute. Let's change that capacity. 10,000 liters. So we ain't going back and forth. Probably still going to want to get some lime hauled down, but we'll just top it up for now. And 10,000 liters of lime. Alright, excellent. We'll get that limed, we'll get the forks, we'll see if the alfalfa goes into the trigger spot for the food of the cattle. We'll go from there. Looks like they got our order out here for us. It's actually kind of a nice spawn point for the farm equipment. Alright. Our forks. Oh, I gotta configure this tractor too. It's not configured to have the forks on the front, unfortunately. All the hidden costs when upgrading, you just don't get the whole deal okay front loader oh, that ain't too bad uh, quickie or hauler that was just a John Deere I think one was taller or lower 
Let's try the hauler one. I'm hoping that does the job. It sits a little higher, so... Sometimes when it's too low, it doesn't work right. Start hitting the front of the tractor. Alright, let's see how that looks. It looks like... Let me get the fork on here. Make sure it goes low enough for our pallets. Uh, that might be... I guess we're on an angle here too. This should be alright. We'll find out! Because it's not like we're losing that much money if we have to exchange the arms. We could probably do the liming later in the year, but I think I'm just going to hit it right now in September. Let's see, when we do cotton, can we direct drill that? I got to check and see if that's on the cedar or the planter. I can't quite remember. No, we actually have to use the planter for that. So that means we're going to have to, unless we sell this, let's take a look and see what else we have. We could get a direct drill planter right away. Yeah, so I think the best bet is to go for the, the Kinsey. 350 horse requirement. So we do need to get a bigger tractor. We have a great working with, and then we'll also have the fertilizer, which will help out a lot. And I think our cedar has, yeah, it does have fertilizer. But we're going to want to get a bigger cedar too, for too long. Okay, so that used an insane amount of lime. Five. I mean, it was low. We do have precision farming on. I was hoping it would conserve a little bit more, but I suppose if it really needed it. I almost don't think it should have used that much lime, especially when we had the bigger thrower, but that is a lot. It's going to take a... We're going to get a trailer, and we're going to load the boat with a bunch of lime. And then we'll bring it down here to the field. And then we're just going to get this over with. That's crazy how much it used, but they, these are big fields. We'll leave the thrower down here, I think. And buy a trailer. Let's see. Or we could get bulk, right? I think that might be a good way to go in this playthrough. Because why, why get the bags when we're going to go through so much? Let's take a look and see if there is a bulk fill on this map or not. There is a lime station over here. Let's teleport down there real quick. See what we're looking at. Yeah, right there. We can get it in bulk. So we should just get a decent trailer. Otherwise we could set up a a lime station on our farm, but I think it might kind of makes it more interesting if you got to go elsewhere. We're just going to want to make sure we have like an auger system. 33, 43. This would be cool if we could get... I don't see an... Oh, there is an auger here. We should probably do that. We, we want to go to the semi route on this playthrough anyway. This holds 43. That's a lot of lime, but we're going to need it. It's ridiculous. Is there any other semi? Don't look like it. Let's do that. We'll buy a semi truck and then we'll get the trailer. Oh, this is going to be insane. 
And we can only change the rim. Let's just leave that chrome. Triaxle. 114,000. And then we'll buy a semi also. I think I'm going to go with the old school. Not this old school, but semi old school. The pinnacle here. Can we make it? Engine setup. We'll go with the cheapest for now. If we have to upgrade, we'll do so. Oh, wow. I didn't even know they had a whole cab here. Let's keep it old school, I think. Day cab. In our color. Let's go with the class green. It's kind of interesting. Something different from stock. There we go. Our brand new semi. Exactly what I wanted to do on this playthrough. 200,000. We're going to start losing more and more money for our... See, that's interesting. That tire's in the air. Can we put that down? Or does it just look like that? Maybe it goes down when you hook up. It's just the way it's sitting. Hmm. Alright. On cover. Lime station's right over here. Only thing is, we're gonna have to like probably fill up all these compartments separate. But we could also put like seeds in this. Down the road. Is it gonna clear? That's pretty low. It will do. Oh, looks like we gotta back up a little bit. The box is in a different... Yeah, the hitbox is in weird spot on that. This beats buying bags, though, I will tell you what. And we could use it for grain, too, if we wanted to. This was a bit tricky, but I think the trick to it is to do the the first square in the middle on each hatch, and then we can kind of... That's what works to fill an appropriate box. 43,000. How much money did we spend on lime? Let's just take a look at that. Looks like 25,000 and a half almost. Nuts. Okay. It's a definitely a heavy load. Let's head on back to the farm. How do we swing around here? Out this way. Making sure they give us a, a way through here. Yeah, I like the way this pulls. It does feel realistic. There's also anhydrous, I think, on this... On this map, if I'm not mistaken. Or is it propane? Like propane, that looks like... I really like the inside of this truck, first person. And with the lime green like hood cap, because I'm so used to using the stock red, I never really changed it when I was using these trucks before on some other personal playthroughs, so like just to see the different color scheme makes it just more interesting. The sun is going down on us though. It does get darker sooner. Yeah, so now we can, I suppose if we were going to do this legitly, let's see, augers on the right, what we would do is if we used our roads appropriately, is we would swing in on the road here, turn around, although this ain't made for a semi either, is it? And probably get something like About like that. We should have swung a little bit wider. But. Let's see how this thing works. So we got pipe out. One lime. So it's just going to go down the row I think.
Oh, it's on the back. Can we turn, can we move that? Oh, we can. There we go. Get it in the right direction here. I guess it would be lower. And we'll see if it automatically fills up or if we gotta turn something on. I think it's automatic. I'm not getting any prompt here. Let's go a little bit lower once. Oh, look at that. You have to... What did I push? I pushed N. It used that whole compartment? That's crazy. Yeah, I don't know exactly what I'm doing. I think I'm moving the pipe once I switch the product. But anyway, that'll make life a lot easier. I'm glad we got the semi-truck. It's all about doing big equipment on this playthrough, and that is definitely what we got. Alright, so I'm going to tackle this, and then I suppose what we'll do to see how much time we have left. We might have to wrap up or we could get started on the corn harvest. And then resume that on the next episode. Can't get this little strip here, I don't think. Let me try it real quick here, backing up. Nope, not gonna do it. That's fine. We got it all done, that was a lot of lime. I think the semi-trailer was definitely a good idea. I think what we're gonna do is save the corn for the next episode. I do want to check that alfalfa hay and see if the cows will accept that in the drop area. And that'll kind of give us some idea what we're going to do in the future. If they don't, I hope they do because that's, that whole field's alfalfa. And we're going to want that supply. Let's see, our lime should probably go in the shed somewhere. And not be out in the elements. Yeah, right in the corner is great. But like I said, I think what we'll do, maybe even on the next episode is get those cows sold and I want to get some beef cows can we grab it off the top without tipping over? I don't have a weight on the back I suppose we could easily grab one of our other weights but we'll try to sneak one There we go. Ooh, let's uh let's go through the actual proper door. So we don't wreck our nice stacked bales. Those might actually be kind of a challenge. Well, I guess I can come in one side and then take two at once and drop them in. And do they take it? They do. So they have... Yeah, so hey. 
Perfect. That'll save us some trouble of having to replant a grass field. We can just use the alfalfa. Yeah, so we're going to want to get these sold. I think we probably will do that in the next episode. There is also, I think, a thing on here. Was it in here? Yeah, you can restrict automatic production. We're going to do that, I think, with the chickens. Just for now. Because we're already up to 120. That's kind of nice that they have that on there. So does it get like ridiculous as it holds so much in those pens? And then the food will last for a while too, so we don't have to worry about them so much. But like I said, the cows, I think we might breed, sell for meat or whatever. Do we have a trailer that we can get on the semi for that, I wonder? Let me check real quick. A cattle trailer. Maybe there's a mod for a cattle trailer with the semi, because I don't see one here. Otherwise, we're going to be stuck using uh, like something like this. I mean, there's 13, oh no, it'll be six. Six cows, yeah, that's not enough. I want to, wait, this guy here. We do have one. Twelve. That'd be all right. We could buy this and then... That's expensive, too, to get started. Yeah, we're gonna have to, like, sell some... Maybe we should still kind of wait. We could sell the, these cows to get some money for them, too. But we should maybe... I just want to make sure that we're not getting ahead of ourselves. And make sure we have the right tools to do the jobs before we get into it. But yeah, we'll look at maybe selling those cows. We'll get started on that corn. We do have some grain that we'll sell, I think, in January. We could sell the straw and the hay, I suppose. Yeah, a few things to think about. Let's just stick with the corn for sure next episode, and we'll go from there. So thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you on the next one.